Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 144, part 2. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 133 to 145. Hey, we've been working on this trick here. This is part 2. Uh, we're trying to get a uh, data validation drop down here that doesn't allow dupes. So we have our list of names. We created a formula right here that created our number sequence. So there's 10 values that aren't used. I'll click Escape. And here we created a formula that actually created the new list. So here's the original list. We've used two of them. Here's the new list. Now we need to do data validation. Because now this list has solved the problem of duplicates by creating a new list with a formula. Now we just need to do a data validation list. Now you could just do data validation list and highlight this whole range right here, but there'll be blanks at the bottom, and sometimes you don't want that. So instead, we'll define a new named range that'll be um, use the offset function. The offset function defines a range. So if we have only name three here, by the way, we by testing this, we can see how this updates right here. It'll become a blank. So now the name five is the third one in our list this range just shrank and so we need somehow uh, to use the offset function create a name so that this range will automatically update depending on what names are here by the way you can test this by uh, deleting all of these and see that it gives us the whole list let's go ahead and uh, open up our name manager or define names in earlier versions control F3 control F3 and we'll say new and now we're going to um, call this uh, new list. And down here is where we do our formula. Equals offset. Now the offset has five arguments. The first argument is, hey, where does the range start? It starts right there. Comma. The next argument is, from this starting point, do we want to go down any, which is a positive number, or up any to alter the starting point? No, so I'm going to put zero. Comma, the net third argument is, do you want to go from the starting point um, backwards through the column, which is a minus number, or forward, which is a positive number? We don't want any. We want to keep that original starting point, so we type a zero there. Uh, comma, one, two, three, four. The fourth argument is, how tall is this range? Well, notice it's an expandable range that's based on the max. Right now, 12 is the max in this range, so we can just use a max here. And because we have a list of numbers that changes automatically, that'll be perfect. That's always the height. Close parentheses on that. Comma. And finally, we need to know how wide this is. We got 12 tall, but um, that's a changeable number. But here, it's always going to be one column wide, so we can type 1 and then close parentheses. There it is, 1, and then close parentheses for the last argument. Click OK. And now here's a great trick in, in both versions. You Once you get your name established here, highlighted here in the formula, you can actually click here and see that that actually shows you the named range. And then un, uh, click that again and then click close. Now let's just try this. Name 1. Notice this has changed. Control F3. Go find your name. New list. And then click right there and see if this actually works. Oh, that is so cool, that expandable, uh, contractible range offset function. Now, the last thing to do is create uh, data validation here. So I'm going to highlight the whole range and then Alt-D-L. It's either data ribbon or data menu to get data validation. We want a list and the uh, source. I'm going to hit F3. That's the keyboard shortcut for paste name. I'm going to go get my paste name. Double click it, and it puts it right there. You can type it out if you want to, and then click OK. Sure enough, now name one is no longer there. I change it to name two. I come down here. No way, now name three, name 10, and sure enough, that is an, a solution. Now, what was nice, this formula solution in trick 144 is a lot more complicated than the VBA solution we saw here. But what's nice about this is we saw a couple things. One is sometimes you need to have a list of numbers like this uh, that change. And you actually can go 7, 8, but have some blanks in between. 
So we use that uh, little construct there. And we also, uh, another I formula idea was creating an ex uh, a list that changes and removes duplicates, and we did it with that formula. So there's a couple cool tricks that we can probably can apply somewhere else also. All right, we'll see you next trick.